Hello YouTube, welcome to this little mini vlog. You may have noticed I've been a bit quiet over the last couple of weeks and I'd like to explain why. You may have spotted in one of my previous videos that I'm involved in medieval living history. I am in fact the head of a household that does medieval reenactment and up until very recently we were happily bimbling along as mercenaries. As we've done this for quite a few years, our displays have improved and about six weeks ago our mentor pointed out that our status does not match our displays and therefore for this season we should gentrify the camp. Well this is lovely, um, but our first show is at Easter in Glastonbury. Um, I'll leave the link down in the description box below. So that means I've now got four weeks to get everything sorted out to raise the status of the household. Now, this isn't LARP. I've got nothing against LARP, but this isn't LARP. This is living history and we have to be authentic as far as we possibly can. Of course, we cheat with things here and there, but as far as the clothing and the furniture is concerned that the public actually see, we have to get this right. I'm sure you can appreciate that it takes a while to record and edit videos to go up onto YouTube and it has to be said that the last few weeks I've spent most of my spare time either playing with power tools or um, chained to the sewing machine and getting costumes and furniture sorted out. But I thought I would bring you up to speed and show you what I've got so far. This is my new chest to put all my clobber in. It came to me as pine. It was made by my friend BFG and I've stained it and uh, added the iron mongery. So I will be keeping all my clobber in that. This is the foot and the head and the sides of BFG's bed. It's a slot together slack bed which originally just sat on the floor but because we now have to raise our status in order to have somewhere to hide all our 21st century stuff, it's much easier if we stick it under the bed. So I've put the bed up on legs. I've still got a little bit more to do on this one. This is my new cabinet to put my medieval medicines in. I need to make an easel for this so that it's at the right height for the public to go having a good nosy in. I picked up this very nice box from eBay, it's absolutely perfect. Um, it's a little bit small for mine and Loki's needs, so I'm going to be donating this to one of the other members of the group to use. Oh, and hello Masyaf. Coming wise, um, this was the first item I made. This is BFG's Nordic Tunic. Um, although we are an Italian household, he plays a Norseman, and we did have Norsemen in Italy from about 936. Um, it's really hard to get our house purple. We chose a real pig of a colour. So just to make sure that he is in house colours, I've added our coat of arms and a little bit of the purple wool on the cuffs, and he's got a little bit of purple trim around the bottom. This is my linen shift. It's a very simple dress that goes under my kirtle, which is the overdress. It looks pretty shapeless, and to be honest it is, because we can't be bothered with zips and laces and stuff. Um, it's easier just to have something you can pull straight on over your head. This is my current work in progress. This is my new winter dress, and I've designed it in such a way that in the summer I can just pull it on as a coat. I've still got quite a lot to do. It needs to be hemmed and I also need to add some fastening. I am contemplating fancy buttons at the moment. The actual pattern is the Simplicity 5189. It's just a fit and flare dress and I've made up the pattern in one size larger than I would normally wear and obviously this goes right down to the floor because the idea in the Middle Ages was that the more fabric you had in your clothing, the more money you had in the bank. So here is the finished ensemble. I have added a fake fur collar. That's um, an instant status razor. I don't wear real fur, even if it's really, really old, but I've got a good quality fake fur. Went with the silver buttons in the end. 
<laughs> if I take the collar off, you can see the shape of the rest of the coat. Nude is typical headwear of the Italian ladies of the 1470s. I've got a little Alice band that's just been stuffed with a bun roll. So that's one job down. I've got several to do. The adopted son wants a swing coat. Uh, he also wants a bed. Hubby is complaining that he's got nothing new this season, but he had his new sir coat last year, so he can stop sticking his tongue out at me. And as I make new stuff, I will keep you up to date. It would be lovely if you pop down to Glastonbury and see us at Easter. I have left the uh, link in the description box below. But until the next time, take care. Bye.